Hello all, my name is Adonis and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a general love reading for all of my Scorpios out there. This is a love reading for all of my Scorpios out there for the month of January. So without any further ado, let's jump in and see what the cards have to say. <clears throat> Summer rising Venus and Jupiter Sun, Moon rising Venus and Jupiter Sun, Moon rising Venus and Jupiter Sun, Moon rising Venus and Jupiter Sun. Jupiter, so many cards I need to see. <clears throat> Who's coming towards my Scorpio? during the month of January. Who's coming towards my Scorpios during the month of January? Who is coming towards my Scorpios during the month of January? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards that I need. Right, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so Right out the gate, you got a water sign individual, King of Cups here. Um, cancer, excuse me, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, this is an individual that is very generous. Very generous, very courteous, okay? Um, and this is a person also that has a lot of options. You're not, you're, you're not, you're not the only individual that this person is, is, is moving towards, but you're definitely um uh the one that they really want to be with but with that being said there's a lot of other individuals uh that this person is kind of you know pushing up on kind of seeing what's what okay with that being said this individual um is thinking about you know more than just a dating situation this is a person that's thinking about uh children um, you know, uh, for like a fertility, abundance, material wealth, that type of thing. So this person is looking to build something with you. Um, <clears throat> look, yeah, this person is looking to build something when you possibly have some type of children um, in the future. Now, this is an individual most likely that you work with or that you've met through work. Okay, somebody at your job. So this is a person that uh, you can recognize as an individual. This is probably somebody that, you know, um, it's been kicking a little bit of game to you, but, you know, it's more than just rhetoric. It's, it's, it's real. It's, it's the real deal here. Um, in addition, this person wants a recognized victory, okay? He wants everybody to know it. So, you know, if at any point, you know, you were to say, hey, I want to make this happen, this person would definitely be very open about it. There's going to be nothing on the down low. It's going to be out front and open and everybody was going to know about it okay so this person is very serious this is not this is not somebody kicking game just to kick game this is a person that's seriously interested in pursuing a relationship with you now with that being said we also have another water sign individual um ace <clears throat> ace of cups now this person is just flat out in love with you just just flat out in love with you and as a matter of fact they're using all that they can to try to manifest a possible relationship with you into fruition. With that being said, though, all right? With that being said, bang, okay? There, there is a tower car moment with this individual where somewhere around, somewhere um, along the way, um, this love has become a little bit more of an obsession okay um it's definitely something that you want to be cognizant enough uh for sure um somewhere along the line the relationship that this person wanted to pursue with you kind of like went off the rails a little bit and there was this sudden tower moment with this individual um and things kind of broke apart a little bit this may have been someone you could have been dating and things of that nature and just things kind of just went off the rails Okay, um, again, and, and, and it, it's love, but it's kind of borderline on obsession because it, because things kind of exploded. So there's like a lot of um, this sense of, of, of maybe obsession is too hard a word, but it's like a step, a step, a step into obsession, but not full obsession, but it's kind of like halfway. And the reason this is is because there's a lot of things that have been unresolved. There's a lot of un unresolved issues here. You know, there's not a lot of resolution here. And that's kind of causing this issue 
As a matter of fact, it's on this person's mind damn near all the time. All right, and it's causing a lot of strife and a lot of anxiety. Um, so that's something at some point that's going to have to be resolved with this individual one way or the other. Either they're going to have to resolve it within themselves or you're going to have to become aware of who this individual is. Uh, maybe to kind of, you know, give this individual a sense of closure, because if you don't, then that one step into obsession will become obsession. Because things are just unresolved here, all right? So you're going to have to resolve that one way or the other. With that being said, let's see what your blockages are. What kind of blockages are you dealing with? What kind of blockages are you dealing with? What kind of blockages do you have? What kind of blockages are you going to be dealing with? What kind of blockages are you doing during the month of January? What kind of blockages are you doing here? Okay. Okay, so, uh, first block you're dealing with is an equal give and take here, okay? Um, you're not really getting an equal give and take in any given situation here. Um, you know, not yet, not yet. I mean, it's not saying it's not going to be there, but it's not really a full equal give and take here. Um, and that's mainly may have been because you're not really fully committed to any one particular situation, okay? Now... You got the Queen of Cups here. So also, loyalty and devotion, eh, you're like, well, you know, you want to be loyal and you want to be devoted, but you're not exactly sure if these individuals, <clears throat> especially that water sign individual, is who you really want to be devoted to. You know, you're not really sure about the situation. But also, we got the Sixth of Swords here. So... Um, you know, your your you know your your thought is you're moving from one from a crazy situation for, to a more calmer one. That's true, okay. But also, it's it's calm to the point where it's just kind of like it's like dead. There's like really nothing that's there, okay. Um, it's, it's calm to the point where it's just kind of boring, and you know, um, you know, uh, that may prove to be problematic in the future here you know you have a couple things waiting on the vine here because you're waiting for that you're waiting for that special that special someone that special situation that's why things are pretty much kind of dead however what i do want to say here is that um you know you're basically you're you're, you're waiting to see what ripples on the vine so you're kind of holding out for that for that white that right one that's cool and all, but, you know, you could be waiting for a long time here, you know. Um, you even decided to take a leadership position of the situation and trying to maybe kind of pull it in the direction that you wanted to go in. With that being said, though, um, it still kind of feels like there's still going to be, um, this, you know, you're having some problems kind of getting your traction on this situation, okay. Um, and finally here. We have the Queen of Pentacles here. So you're, you know, again, you're really focused on your money, getting your money right, you know, making wise decisions when it comes to money. And you're not really kind of taking the whole relationship aspect aspect too serious right now because there's nothing that's really jumping out to you right away. All right. So that being said, let's see what are your what kind of strengths are you doing? What kind of strengths are you dealing with here? What kind of strengths are you dealing with here? What kind of strengths are you dealing with here? Cool. Well, <clears throat> for one thing, you know what you want. <laughs> so, whereas on one hand, it's like, well, um, you're kind of waiting out for the right one. And that scene is kind of like a blockage. It's a blockage because you're not really, you know, really committed to anything. But the strength is, you know what you want. And you're going to hold out until you get what you want. Um... Also, you want a revelation of truth here. You want someone to be straight up with you. You don't want no BS, no lying, no bullshit. You're looking for somebody to be straight up honest with you about what they want, what they're looking for. The other thing here is things have come full circle for you. 
okay? You pretty much, like I said before, that's why you're pretty, um, uh, you're pretty sure, okay, that you're going to get what you want. You know what you want. You, you're looking, you're going looking for that assured success because you've had time to think about it. Things have gone full circle for you, so you're pretty. It's pretty clear about what you want. Um, six of cups. So it's not out of the realm of possibility. Uh, that you would not maybe be interested in someone from your past, perhaps. Uh, a past reconnect, love connection, perhaps. Um, yeah. So it's not out of the realm of possibility. And that's one of your strengths that, you know, you're looking. You're, you're, I mean, you're, you're looking. You're waiting, but you're looking, too. So, you know, even looking towards the past, maybe. So you're, you're open, but you're just not going to settle. Okay, so that's what's going on with that. So, with that being said, let's see what kind of what additional information the spirit want to give before I shut this thing down. What additional information the spirit want to give before I shut this thing down? What additional information the spirit want to give before I shut this thing down? There we go. Become the elixir. You know, uh, basically, you know, spirit wants you to know that you're doing, you're, you're, you're doing uh, the right thing here. You're doing what you need to do. Uh, let you, let your blow do the heavy lifting. Let, let, let it come to you. Okay. So apparently, what's seen as a blockage, it is a blockage. But on the same token, spirit is saying, you know what? Let it come to you. Let let that energy and let that light come to you. So that's 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 that's, that's so that's that's pretty surprising. Uh, discover your superpowers. Access one hundred percent of your mojo. Absolutely. Um, like I said, let it come to you. Let all of that you put a lot of positive energy out there. You know, um, rather be from the past, rather be from the future. Just wait and let it come to you. And also, in the meantime, while you're waiting for it to come to you, also really realize your inner potential, okay, for for a productivity, you know, to 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 uh, you know realize the type of positive things that you have to contribute. <clears throat> excuse me, to a relationship as well. So it's not just about the one individual; it's about you as well. One with the sun. Be the light, and also just be that be that beacon of light. Be that beacon of light that you're looking for. You know, shine bright, and you're going to attract positive things to you because your light is going to be very, very bright. Okay, with that being said, I'm going to shut this thing down now. If you haven't already, please like, please share, please subscribe. <clears throat> um, also, make sure you hit that notification bell so you can make sure you get all of my um, all of my videos here um this is a general reading uh if this resonated with you great you know feel free to get a personal reading I'll leave the link below if it didn't resonate with you that's okay too you want to know a little bit more about your particular situation again the links below um like i said before you haven't already please like please share and please subscribe my name is adonis i love you guys and i will see you next time